Hello, hello, and good afternoon. My name is Margaret Mwangi. I'm your presenter and your host uh, for the amazing Wonders Global TV, which uh, used to be known as Amazing Wonders uh, Global Travel and Discovery TV channel. We have changed the name of our channel because uh, some of you uh, had concerns that the name was very long. Some could not be able to search and find us on YouTube. That's why we recently changed or launched uh, into a different new name. Uh, good afternoon. My, uh, I am excited to bring you our, ne our next episode while here in the Ani after a very long time. I can remember the last time I was here was on 31st. Uh, December 2021 uh, when I I brought uh, that special edition showing you how people are celebrating the new year Eve well today uh, I've come back here uh, this is home my second home in fact and I'm ready to to present uh, our today's program while seated uh, on one of cut Catamaran. Catamaran are those old uh, uh, boats that are made of wood. <laughs> One day I'll be able to ride on it and I'll be able to show you how it looks like and uh, I'll share my experience with you how it was. Yeah, today our, our topic of discussion is about uh, helping those who are in need when while they are still alive yes that is the topic i picked uh, on and which i want us to quickly share today because it has been a concern uh, from me and others that us as kenyan kenyans we normally give our 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 donations in terms of money and kind plus other types of uh, kind assistance to people when they are dead. But while they were, um, they were well, they were, uh, they were uh, an, alive and do, uh, perhaps they were undergoing some health challenges, be it diabetes, be it high blood pressure, be it cancer, which are some of, <coughs> sorry, uh, we have the two types of diseases which are communicable and non-communicable diseases. Uh, these diseases uh, which are incurable or chronic, some of them uh, are, are expensive to, to, to contain to, or to treat them. You know like cancer, patients have to undergo chemotherapy, radiation, and this uh, has to cost them a lot of money. When it comes to diabetes, people, those uh, patients who are suffering from this uh, uh, type of uh, disease, they have to undergo dialysis in order for their blood to be purified. Uh, what normally happens, their kidneys, they suffer from uh, uh, kidney failure and the kidneys can no longer be able to wash the blood, to cleanse in the blood. So this is done uh, uh, by machines and this is where the power of uh, em uh, emerging technology technologies come, comes in. We have machines which does that work which the kidney kidneys could have done and these people end up using a lot of money uh, for them to stay alive or for them to be sustained or to undergo these uh, pro medical procedures. When it comes to blood pressure, the patients have to keep on taking uh, some medication which is uh, quite expensive in order to regulate their blood. It is, the, it is a risky condition when somebody is suffering from low blood pressure. It's also a risky condition when, when somebody is suffering from high blood pressure. They can suffer from stroke. They can also suffer from, uh, from, uh, from a heart attack. 
and this can even cost their lives. So when people are in such conditions, they need to, they normally incur a lot of uh, money while undergoing med, uh, medication, which uh, is meant to keep them uh, uh, going on, to keep them alive. If it cannot heal them, then it's meant to, to contain the situation and to make their, their life uh, more, uh, can I say, in terms of endurance, they can't be able to endure the situation irrespective of what they are going uh, through. But now we have this culture as Kenyans whereby we know somebody is sick, you know somebody under, uh, uh, undergoing these uh, conditions in life, in their lives, and it is not easy for, for them to contain such situations. They uh, exhaust all their resources, they use all the money they have uh, been saving maybe uh, for development, and it reaches a time that they need, uh, they would require kind assistance from friends. Uh, they are those friends who are uh, fina doll pick and are willing to, uh, to assist such people. So such people uh, comes into play, they continue assisting where they can, and when their finances have dwindled, they no longer have anyone to assist them. So it's like uh, the relatives are no longer calling them to find out how they are faring on, how they are, uh, they are doing in life. And this situation continues until some of them end up succumbing to, the, to, to those uh, diseases, all those conditions. And when they succumb is when we, we read on social media, uh, rip, uh, uh, rip Mr. So-and-so, rip me so-and-so, Reap, uh, rest in peace, Mr. Mr. So and so. And you find this is a time people will even uh, create time to go visit with their bereaved family, giving their donations, giving offering the, to fuel their vehicles in order to take people to, to bury them or to, to attend their fun, uh, funeral. But when these people are alive, when they needed this money in order for them to undergo the treatment. No one was there for them. But how comes when these people are dead, a lot of people come, uh, 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 a lot of people volunteer with their money, with their donations, uh, with all manner of donations and kind to assist the believed family. But when these people were alive, they were suffering, they needed the, the, these people most. They were nowhere to be found. Uh, is human life worth way after they are they are dead and gone, or is that uh, life sacred while they are breathing their life, and they can be able to do uh, simple uh, simple jobs, even if they cannot be able to go back to their active uh, act to their active uh, life, which they had maybe go back to the employment regular employment, but they can be able to do a few stuff while uh, uh, recuperating in their homes. They can be able to be there for their families. They can be able to, to be there to serve in the capacity that God has given them, even at, uh, at, uh, uh, in their uh, respective churches. Uh, why, are we, uh, why do people rush to donate money to people? To, to people? in order for this money to be used to buy expensive coffins, expensive case, caskets, expensive uh, to be able to hire expensive vehicles which can, uh, can transport these people to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the homes of these people. But yet when these people are alive, when they needed them most, when they really needed them, maybe they only uh, they were remaining with a few uh, dialysis in order for them to recuperate. They were remaining with a few, uh, uh, what do we call them, chemotherapy, just a few more in order for them to be able, their cells to be restored back to normal for the time being. 
we have had situations whereby after the, the, uh, these patients undergoing the such treatment and a lot of them uh, most of them who are believers there is a way god healed them in a supernatural way uh, doctors can assert, uh, uh, attest to this uh, Christians uh, and uh, my fellow, even uh, people who are not Christians, they have witnessed people getting healed in supernatural ways. Why is it that when people are, are, have died, when people, family, uh, families are bereaved, this is the time people can be found to go visit with their family. Yet when these people, their relatives, the, the sick ones, when they were, they were sick before they died on, before their demise, no one went uh, visiting with them in hospitals. No one visiting with them at home. No one even knew what they were eating, how the bills were being paid for. Jamani, Ninaeza uliza kama Leonard Mambo Botella. J, who knew Nguana? Wakati wa marafiki wanatuhitaji, wakati ja, uh, jamii wanatuhitaji, wakati our workmates wanatuhitaji, wakati our neighbors wanatuhitaji, we are nowhere to be found. But immediately news uh, uh, lands on us that they have, uh, uh, they have died, they have slept, they, they have gone to the other world, they have exited, exited to the next world. This is the time we are found. This is whereby we shall create time out of our very busy schedule to go visit with them. Is it not hypocrisy when we are doing this? Is it not hypocrisy when we are offering to buy the most expensive coffins and cas caskets in the world? Yet we could not even give even a hundred shillings for them to purchase maybe the drugs they needed the meals they needed to 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 have in order for them to 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 take these drugs there are some conditions you must eat your stomach must be full it must have food uh, filled with food before you can be, be able to take these drugs we, you are not supposed to take them on an empty stomach these people uh, could not even find something to eat so that they can be able to take their drugs but yet the time they die everybody is volunteering i'm the one who buy their suit which they'll be buried in i'm the one who buy the dress i'm the one who buy the shoes i'm the one who buy the tie what kind of a culture are we cultivating as kenyans is a uh, human life award when they, after they they are demise after they are they are they are they have died and gone or is it worth or is it uh, can I say more important when they are uh, important when they are breathing when they are alive when we can see them when we can be able to converse with them when they are transferring their wisdom from their from them to the next gen generation this is a wake up call to all of us I Margaret included let us cultivate these uh, friendships let us cultivate this culture of assisting people while they are still alive when they need us most and uh, when in case uh, they are their god doesn't heal them or the medicine is not able to, to cure them and they they die will not be will not carry with us the guilt of saying i wish i could have done one two three i wish i, I could have uh, sent the money that i used for something quite luxurious for something which I not even call, want or called for. It is a luxury to you and you know it. Yet you don't even have two minutes to impress somebody so that they can buy drugs. You don't have time to impress someone, to send money electronically, to send the, the money and the way technology has made things so easy. At a click of a button, you're able to send somebody the help they need. At a click of a button, you're able to send that money. How about visiting them? God has been uh, great, uh, has been grace, uh, has been uh, merciful to us, given us resources, given us the things which we need in life. What? How are we using these resources to uh, to to enable other people to have uh, comfortable lives? How are we making a difference in someone else's life? Uh, else life.
it's a wake up call to for all of us let us not uh, run and uh, be able to give us our money and donations uh, when people are dead yet when they are alive we are nowhere to be seen we have shunned from their call of help for from us for from them to us may god help us may we cultivate that culture of assisting one another we are our brothers keepers may god help us take it upon ourselves this is still a new year that we are going to do things differently and that god is going to to help us in all things god bless you and from diani uh, i am wishing you a lovely evening god bless you and bye bye